they were working originally on auxiliary gym, which was our first phases. Um, that was phase one to three. Then we moved on to Pell Court, which was phase 4A. We completed that last year. So auxiliary gym was the first part of the structure because that's the central plant. That's where the electrical comes in, the geothermal. So that's kind of the backbone for the entire school. So the old shop building was demolished, I believe, in December, or, uh, January 2015, I believe, or December 2014. I wasn't here. So they demolished the old shop building and then started building the new auxiliary gym back. Um, during that time frame, they did some interior selective demolition in Pell Court, but not the not a complete building demolition because we were keeping that building. So then we bring Auxiliary Gym online and basically complete it in um, August, uh, July of 2016. And then we immediately moved on Pell Court and we tied those two buildings together. So there are two independent structures that have a, a you know, a big seismic joint between them. Um, so, and then we started um, working on the seismic upgrades and all the interior renovations on Pell Court, and we brought that building online last year. I believe it was fully online and occupied. Um, it was spring break of 2017 is when we finished Pell Court. And while we were working on that, we started, um, there had been some interior selective demolition that occurred on the academics building, which is phase 4B. Some of that interior work had actually occurred um, from December or January 2015 up through like June 2016. Um, and then that's when um, we were having some issues with some of the bids coming in way too high. And so we had to kind of stop and rethink some of our plans. Um, the school district hired um, a demolition contractor and I brought demolition crews in and we cut the three-story building in half. And that's pretty amazing if you think about it. So we cut a three-story building in half and tore part of the building down and kept the other part standing. And then we built a new structure to tie it all back together. So we started that, the demolition in November, 2016. Um, then we had some early work packages on um, inter framing and whatnot, you know, through the 2017 year. Then we um, received all the final bids back from subcontractors and finished subs and whatnot in March, March or I think it was April last year, April 2017. And so that's where we're at right now. We're looking at, you know, full completion and the school district moving in this summer. So we have, you know, new furniture coming in that'll be delivered in June and, you know, the TVs. And so the, the students will be able to move in and into the academics building, you know, in the end of August. Our, our next phase, the last phase is phase five, the arts cafeteria building. And we're, we're going through the value engineering process again. Um, not again, it's, it's just part of the progression. We we're trying to focus, you know, get the academics building up and running. And then now we're focusing on the arts building. We've been doing that for, um, you know, on and off for about at least six months on the value engineering approach. And so we've been working with our architects and with our IT department and the contractors, plumbers, electricians, um, mechanical subcontractors, trying to make sure that we're making smart decisions on the arts building before we, um, you know, put out for full blown bids. And I'd like to start construction on phase five in June. I would like to see it done, you know, next year. A lot of the work will be done this summer and in this fall. And then we'll be wrapping everything up, you know, into the 2019 year. And then, of course, we've got all the landscaping and the sod and the trees and whatnot. We're, we'll be doing part of it this summer. And then as that building's getting working on phase five, I don't want to put like grass and stuff in and then have contractors driving over it. So I'll leave part of it undone and then we'll roll into 2019 to finish the, the site civil work. Um, and so, so yeah, it'll be, it'll be next year, but it's, we're definitely on the downhill slide. It's exciting to, to see this. It's a long time coming. <laughs>